lovely country and a hot country and a really busy uh, city of Bangkok. I'm really happy to have you here. In the name of the Admirals, I want to welcome you to our morning briefing show. Uh, my name is Marcus and I'm really happy to have you here in the show so we can talk about trading and some kind of financial education stuff. So whatever. Today, the topic of the day is kind of uh, the habits of successful traders. And maybe we can talk about a little bit specific habits of trading uh, of real traders, by the way. So Saudi Khab from uh, Bangkok to people they are living around of Bangkok. And hello to everyone, wherever you're placed around the world. So we stream this show on YouTube at the same time. So we'll find a button in the right corner. You can subscribe the channel. You can leave a comment or you can give us a like if you want. So whatever you want, feel free to do what's in your mind. Okay, so let's share the stream. And let's, let me fix uh, so I can see the chat. Yeah, Lisa, wonderful. Good morning. Marie Louise also. Rainer, good morning. Tina, then um, Mike also. And on YouTube, Barry, Michael, wonderful. Good morning. I have, I'm really pleasured to have you here. So we have our daily routine as every day. We start with the uh, view at the topics, uh, the upcoming events. And today we expect it's 10 a.m. German time, by the way, the Eurozone flash PMI. Then uh, 10.30, 30 minutes later, the flash UK PMI. And uh, then this evening at 10.30 German time, by the way, the weekly statistical bulletin of uh, USA. Okay, so... Um, also, I want to invite you to follow the Telegram channel of Aprils, by the way, so you will never miss any note, notification, webinar or something else like this. And uh, yeah, so feel free if you have a, a, a Telegram too, uh, beside of Aprils, um, of WhatsApp, by the way. So then feel free to follow this guys too here. Okay, so I would say it's time to uh, check the charts. And as always, we start with a view at DAX 10 minutes. So, Kusi Nakal, good morning, wherever you are. Gertz, good morning also here. Okay, so let's see what happens since yesterday we finished the show. So, we saw... Uh, one of the seldom cases, and maybe this proves that there is no 100% guarantee, by the way. And Joachim, wonderful good morning on, on YouTube also. So because you see, there was a trend break. So that was the second trend I'm here around. Uh, maybe during the whole, the entire day. And finally, there was the second trend I'm not really a trend continuation because before we saw this kind of yeah how should I say this kind of um, yeah trend break here so which means we started with a new trend but here we had the second one here was the second trend arm and uh, no that's Dow Jones sorry we need DEX right we need the DEX Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ah, here we go. I thought that there's something different. Uh, so here we go. So let's the draw. Let's draw the trend properly. So here we go. yes, finally. I was completely confused because this was a Dow Jones. So check it out, guys. We are completely right. And so here we go. That was the trend. Finally, so here we go. Then we have the second trend arm and you see that works too. And then we have this correction up here and what is the same level. And finally, check it out. 
there was the trend continuation finally here. I guess there was, no, here not. There was the trend continuation. Another correction, and here we go. Next correction. So you see, it really happens because the trend break will be happen here, but it doesn't actually, and it did not happen here. So there was so a trend continuation as always. But the biggest opportunity was here in this second trend arm, by the way. Okay. So you see, it's always good. Never miss the sec the first entry in the second trend arm. So what we can do, and by the way, we, we supposed yesterday that we reached a point of control in 10 minutes. And yeah, you see, it happens again. So great stuff. It's not, it's a simple system to follow the trend. So let's go to. So actually, there is nothing to do in 10 minutes right now. Either, either you are in uh, since yesterday or nothing to do because it's in a move. Old trend, nothing to do. But I'm really happy to can, that I can show you that it always works in the same way, really, really almost uh, all the time. So let's go to the focus charts in DAX 40. And I would say we did it again because we prepared it yesterday to you. And you see, we have a clear trend continuation right now. So, which means we are here in the move. And as I said yesterday, it's the second trend arm. This is what you can learn if you draw the trend properly. And you see, we have an entry. There was the balance candle yesterday. Here was a kind of balance candle yesterday. We opened a trade as we promised and we prepared yesterday in the morning briefing show. And this morning when I get up, uh, I saw, oh my gosh, we overcame the last point two and we had a close. So I took half of the portion, I took half of the profit here and now the trend is still running. So, and the stop loss actually is up at the last point three. Why? Because I took 75% uh, of my full position because I'm in the red zone and now I can trade, I can let the stop loss at the point three and then I can expect, okay, finally we will reach the point of control. So therefore I have a special, my final target at the point of control and now I will speculating on a trend and the trend, maybe there will come a correction and finally, I will trail my stop loss uh, by 0 0.3, 0 0.3, and 0 0.3 until we reach the point of control. So this is what we want to do with this uh, trend or with this trade, actually. So now let's go to the Dow Jones. And we open a trade here, too, as we prepared yesterday, because there was a new trend situation. And you see it here. Let's do it. So we start here. First move. I guess. Hope so. So first move. So this uh, here we go. Second. And then the second move. And here we go is the second trend on and as i told you yesterday just let's wait for the balance candle and finally it happened again so i set up an pending order at the point two which means actually if this candle will be finished at 11 with a close then i will sell half my position oh let's see where is the point of control yeah like kind of same uh, that the Dow uh, that the DAX, so maybe selling 70 75 percent and trade the stop loss 0 0.3 0 0.3 until we reach the point of control here too. So we can handle this situation like the same uh, like this like at uh, DAX 42. Let's go to Euro USD. Here we go. It's going deeper and deeper and deeper in the green zone, just waiting, just waiting for 
the balance candle. Now this could be interesting. So let's see what the trader sentiment shows us. So here is the trader sentiment. It's really interesting. Trader sentiment. And let's see, symbol Euro USD. Here we go. So 70% says, oh my gosh, it's, uh, we are in hourly chart, by the way, we are uh, 27, 27% says long. And this short is quite, this chart is quite short. So it's kind of contrary indicator. So too many people have tried to buying and this is not the sense of what you should do in trading. It's always the best follow the trend. So we have to wait until we see a new trend to the upper side, then uh, we can go up. Yeah. <laughs> Ojo, thank you. Thank you, Pips Finder. Let's find the Pips together, my friend. Okay, so next one is Bitcoin. Oh, by the way, Gertz, you were right yesterday. Uh, so I guess there was a mistake uh, in the in the volume because now you see we have the uh, point of control where we were already yesterday. So by the way, yeah, the trend is still running as you can see. Really, trend is still running. And I, as I promised you guys, as I promised you, so there was the first trend um and. We prepared it, I hope you were a part of it. So here we go, third trend arm, and we reached a point of control by the way. Yeah, so here's the fourth trend arm, and now it's just struggling here with this low, but the money, guys, the money was here. Here was the money in, second trend arm as always. I hope you did it instead of me because I've forgotten this in the four hourly chart, but yeah. You see, it works all the time. It's a simple system. It's never easy. Trading is never easy, but it's a simple system. Trend. Uh, to that, for, first of all, you have to be the. You need to have the habit to draw the trend properly. So therefore, I created this uh, trading online course, which will be released maybe the end of this week. We are working hard on it. That you can uh, that you can take it and grab it to become successful at the end of the course, by the way. So just a little bit more patience because we want to make it perfect that uh, the money and the time you invest, that's, it's a, that's a valuable time and money you invest in this course, by the way. So let's see gold. Oh, by the way, uh, we are waiting for we are waiting for the second trend on because actually there is this one. We start here, move, correction, and move. So just wait for the first correction, how deep she it's going, we will see. And then let's go back and maybe we will reach the point of control. I'm quite sure that we will do this. So just waiting for a correction and then we can open. I have it in my list for today. Okay, so then finally British pound USD. So the cleaning woman is here now in my room, you know. Okay, so British uh, pound USD. Uh, unfortunately, we have the main trend is continuing, as you can see here, and the trend we were speculating on that we go up to the point of control is not happening right now. So this is the main trend. Move, oh, not this one. So that's the main trend. Move, correction, move. Correction, second trend on, by the way, bam, there it happened. So, and here we go, next one, next correction, next move, next correction, and it seems the price will continue to the lower side. And we were speculating a bit on this correction here. So maybe, yeah, this one, then the correction, 
So, and we were speculating that we will, can get into here. So, but we have no open trade because we are why we work with a pending order, not limit, not market, never ever, just always pending order, stop buy, stop sell. And you see, uh, we avoid to make a loss here. And now you can see, okay, yeah, it's a trend break finally. So, which means the main trend is continuing for the moment. So in British pound USD, there's actually nothing to do for us for the next days, I would say for the next days. Okay. So that was the main trend, guys. And um, you know, the topic of today is the right per or the perfect or the right, the proper uh, habits of a trader. So therefore I have prepared a question for today. And the question of today, thanks Nastia, uh, is do you think a trader, traders need specific habits? So what do you think, yes or no? So do you think, uh, yes, of course, you have to change something, yeah? <coughs> or you think you can, you can remain the way you are? So what do you think, yes, of course, or no, I think, I don't think so. So what's going up with my program here? Okay, so let's see. Here we go. So let's talk about our running trades. And actually we are a bit in loss. Um, and we start with Euro Swiss franc, for example. So we have a kind of stabilization there. So there is no reason to get in rush or something like that. So because you know we have an extremely high probability extremely high probability that the second trend term will reach the last point two again and this means we will reach this last point two this is the last point two so and actually we see a kind of stabilization here so there is nothing to do literally nothing to do i know this is hard I know we are deep in, uh, maybe we are a bit in loss actually. Yes, I know. Yeah, but it's a part of the game. Even we will get out. As long as the trend is not broken, we have to do it again. Because it's the second trend on. It's the first possibility that we see a trend continuation. Yeah, and it's the highest probability ever. So just do it. We made everything properly. We made everything perfect actually. Stop is placed and don't touch it don't touch it watching never touching okay canadian dollar swiss franc yeah actually uh i calculated my loss so and this is the trend by the way this is the trend move correction and here we are in the correction, by the way. So, and in this specific case, the point three or the proper or the origin stop loss should be placed below the last point three. But for me, and it's a daily chart, by the way, for me, it's too far away. So I make the decision that I set my stop loss here because if they will get me out at this point, the trend is still valid. So, and I'm waiting for the next balance candle and we'll try it again. So, because it's the second trend arm, which means we can still speculating on a trend continuation. So, and this will be valid as long as we don't see a trend break at the point three. Yeah. So the market, everything what happens between the point two and the point three, everything what happens in between these points, it's just a correction no more no less so just let it go and this is why uh it's a kind of habit by the way it's a kind of habit to have a perfect money management you know not risk we don't talk about risk management we talk about money management because as a human being you used to think in money not in percent yeah so if you have a specific income and they maybe your boss said you get more money yeah so what do you think 
if your boss or your manager said to you, okay, you get more money. Do you think, oh, oh, this is 2% of my salary. No, most of the cases you think, oh, ah, that's $200. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. So you used to think in money. So it's a question of money, how you act in trading. Yeah. And the calculated losses should be, should be happen based on money, not on any risk percent like this one. It's not logic, guys. It's not logic. Logic is if you know how to use to, uh, to think in a human being, in a human way. So we have a short position Euro Australian dollar. So, and here we are circling around the entry. Actually, there is nothing to do because it is still our downtrend. We started here, first move, first correction, second move, and second correction. We are still speculating that we will see a trend continuation. So actually, we are circling around the entry. To be honest, we have big pressure on euro actually. So there is nothing to do also. And finally, the last one in daily chart is Euro, New Zealand dollar. So you see, basically uh, tomorrow we expect, tomorrow morning at 2 German time, AM by the way, in the middle of the night, we expect the rate decision of New Zealand dollar. And I guess the market plays a little bit of rumors about that. So let's see what will bring the facts. Yeah, you know, buy the rumors, sell the facts. And uh, yeah, let's see, actually. I don't intervene into my trade, actually. I don't intervene. So, because this is my trend. This is my trend. Move and correction. And yeah, that's the move. And second correction. Yeah, and just wait. Yeah, just wait. Stop loss is above here. And we will see if they bring this trend or this trade into the profit. So I will wait until um, this is, let's see a little bit normal candles. It's Euro New Zealand dollar, normal candles. You see, yeah, it's the same. So just wait if we will see higher prices or maybe the price rebounds again here in this zone. We will see, by the way. So. Uh, what's on my list? Still on my list, I can show you. Still on my list is, of course, all currencies which is included Japanese yen. So, for example, New Zealand dollar, uh, Japanese yen. So, we are still in a valid trend, still in this valid trend. And this is this one. Keep it in your list, please. And we are still in the second trend of. We're just waiting for a new balance candle and then we can do this. So, but actually, I guess, actually we can delete the order a bit because uh, we are just waiting for the balance candle and then we can open a position uh, in a new way. Uh, which is, I guess, not longer working is uh, New Zealand dollar, US dollar, uh, because you see, it was not really a trend continuation. This is a big playing of the game, you know? So what is really interesting, if we zoom a little bit in, then look at this one. So the stabilize, stabilize, uh, stabilizing where happened between during nine days. So uh, count it with me. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine days. So we have nine days, trading days of kind of stabilizing uh, in the correction zone. It's kind of accumulation phase. So, and now there was not really a trend continuation at the last point two, and everything happens into place here at the point, at the point of control. But now let's see, yeah, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, a little bit more days, yeah, around about nine days, then the price will falling down. It's interesting. It's really interesting 
how predictable the market sometimes work. Yeah, a long time accumulation phase and a long time to get out of the market. Don't forget the big money collects the positions during the accumulation phase. Yeah, and they need time to get out of the market. So they always trick the market out and they say, let's take a breakout, let's take the breakout. Let's say, the, the unexperienced people are buying and buying and buying. But if you have, if you want to buy something, yeah, you know, then you need sellers too. Yeah. Who sells? Of course, they are big in profit. They sell. Yeah. And the unexperienced traders are the buyers. And then they are wondering why they lose money. Because as an experienced trader, you should learn to read the market, not interpret the market. There is no interpretation. As a private trader, as a well-educated private trader, there is a kind of reading of the market. Yeah. Okay, so uh, let me see. Australian dollar, Japanese, we talked about already. So there is a question as, is there an upward trend in British pound one hourly chart? British pound, Swiss franc, let's see. Let's see, British pound, Swiss franc in the hourly chart. And let's switch to the hourly chart. Uh, I don't think so. No. No, that's not. Let me check it. So, one, two, this, and this, and this. So, basically, we are in the one, two, in the third trend arm. Here we're starting a move. You're asking for British pound, Swiss franc hourly chart, exactly. So British pound, hourly chart, but, and the correction is running, no, 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 it's not a valid corrective trend, no. The downtrend is still valid. That's not like this, it's not, unfortunately, it's not. So let's check uh, DAX and Dow. Don't forget it. We have open positions there. And don't forget to take partial profits if you will have a close below the last point too. Yeah, just wait for that. Okay, so my question for you today was, ladies and gentlemen, if do you think a trader needs specific habits? Yes or no? So and for, uh, thanks God, we have... 96% uh, they said yes, of course, and 4% says that just is what one one. No, I don't think so. Can you please share the YouTube link where I can find all morning show parts from the past? Last year, maybe you can do this if you want. Maybe you can share uh, here. Thanks. Nastia is so wonderful. I, I couldn't make this show without Nastia every morning. Thanks for that. So if you think you have not to change the habits you have as a human being, then pr I promise you, you will never become successful in trading. Why is it? I just give you one example, just one. In normal life, you used to do the same. Okay? You learn something like uh, speaking a new language, for example, then you train it, you do it very often, and then you can speak this stranger, this, this foreign language in a perfect way after a couple of times. So maybe I try to uh, I try to speak in uh, Thai, for example, somebody hap for like this one. So if I do it more often, then sometimes and I will speak this language. So, and then in the future, as much as I speak this foreign language, as much I can do it, and I will never forget. In trading, it's not. Because there you have rules, for example, just rules, and you can stick to rules all the time, but you don't know the result before. And with every single trade, you get a new result. You cannot predict the outcome. You cannot predict because you work with probabilities. And therefore, you have to create new habits. 
So you don't have to, but if you want to become successful in the long run, then you have to do this. Just an example. I want to say thank you for listening again this day. We will see each other tomorrow, Wednesday. I wish you a wonderful day. Have courage and be kind. And may the force of the rules be with you. See you tomorrow, guys.